Welcome to the studio of the WISIS Plus 20 Forum high-level event here in Geneva. Our next guest is Dr. Tofik Jalasi, who is the Assistant Director General of UNESCO. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you for the invitation. Let me begin by asking you, can you tell me about the ongoing work uh, that you're doing that contributes, uh, contributes to WISIS? Yes, uh, UNESCO has been quite active in partnership with others such as ITU, UNUCTAD and others uh, trying to meet the objectives set for the WISIS some 20 years ago. Personally, I was a guest speaker at the WISIS 2005 edition which took place in Tunis, Tunisia. So some of the recent works that UNESCO has initiated include our 2021 UNESCO recommendation on the ethics of artificial intelligence. That piece of work took four years before its approval in 2021 by our 193 member states. And as you recall, that date was solidly a year before ChatGPT and the advent of generative AI. And UNESCO has called for a responsible, ethical use of AI. Second piece of work, which is worth mentioning, uh, culminated this past November 2023 with the publication of the UNESCO guidelines for the governance of digital platforms. These guidelines aim at combating mis- and disinformation, hate speech, and other harmful online content, which we have been seeing expanding exponentially on social media, and we want to do something about it in a multi-stakeholder approach with member states, but also the tech companies, civil society, the technical community, and the media sector as well, including also academia and research institutions, to say, if we do nothing, what the World Economic Forum has said last January, that this information is the number one global risk for 2024 and 2025 ahead of climate change. So we have to join forces to tackle this issue and to make cyberspace more, a more trustworthy place, not a place where deep fake and disinformation and hate speech can happen. And all of these, as you can tell, of course, are very harmful to individuals, to organizations and to nations. UNESCO mission from eight years ago has been to build peace in the minds of men and women. How do we do that? Through education, through culture, through the sciences, and through information. So we are very much within our mandate at UNESCO to say what has been happening online and the harmful content does not contribute to peace building. But rather, it's very decisive, it's discriminatory, and it's propaganda, and it's hate, it's online harassment, it's cyberbullying. And therefore, these guidelines call for an accountable, transparent use of the platforms and the supply of information on it, but also empowers users and calls for a better content moderation and content curation by the tech companies. And finally, let me mention a, a global conference that UNESCO will organize next February 2025, the theme of which is the digital transformation of the public sector, because this is a topic of interest to all member states of UNESCO. And to succeed in the digital transformation of public sector, we need to empower civil servants by developing or building their capacities and their skill sets and competencies so they know how to implement a digital transformation. And you, you talked about the, the flagship actions. Tell me about those. Yeah, uh, th these are three uh, among the many other flagship actions. Uh, currently, we are working on the ethics of neurotechnology, which is, of course, a cutting-edge advancement in the field of technology. Uh, again, very much in line what with what we have done for the ethics of artificial intelligence. We also look at the ethics of neurotechnology. We are looking at quantum computing. So very much the cutting edge technologies. And we are calling for development of these technologies and their use that is respectful of international human rights law. It's also respectful of uh, data privacy of people's dignity, so, but also to make them 
open to all and accessible by all, including people with disabilities, but also making them multilingual so people can use their native language or indigenous languages to access content online. And partnerships, finally, you, you talked to me earlier about how important they are. They are very important. One specific example of a long-standing partnership that UNESCO has set up some 13 years ago when it created with ITU the United Nations Broadband Commission for Sustainable Development. This is a unique public-private partnership-based commission. It has uh, over uh, 50 commissioners representing uh, private sector, leading tech companies, but also, of course, uh, member states are involved, government officials are involved, and through this commission, we try to look at different issues, including digital connectivity, digital inclusion, how to uh, bridge the gender gap, uh, but also how to bridge the information knowledge gap through broadband technology. Dr. Gelasi, you've got a busy afternoon ahead of you. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Thank you for the kind inv invitation. More to come on this channel. That's the WSIS Plus 20 Forum high-level event.